the walkers and runners set off for this 5K wellness walk of remembrance and celebration. They include the district attorney's office and other agencies who work with victims and loved ones who are left behind to mourn. Like Brittany Gonzalez, who walks for her son Jackson, who she says died because of child abuse in 2017. Everything we do is for him. I love and miss him so much. And she is thankful for the support she is getting. It's a blessing, yeah. I mean, like I said, like, the community came together. They took me in with open arms and that's what I appreciate because without them, I don't think I would have been anywhere. Today is a day to give strength to survivors with the help of those who prosecute the suspects. It takes courage for people to stand up and be heard. It takes courage to make a statement to law enforcement. It takes courage to come in and testify. That bravery, that courage needs to be honored every day, but in this week in particular when it's National Victim Rights Week. This walk is a chance to show the public what is available for those touched by violent crime. The DA's office and Victim Witness have uh, done an incredible job. They've helped myself and my family through a lot with counseling and, and, and other avenues. Today's walk was not about mourning as much as it was about honoring and remembering. For Brittany Gonzalez, she felt her son was with her. There's a bunch of ladybugs and um, butterflies on the way, and I was like, oh my God, look at this, look at this. I was always, always looking at the butterflies and, look, mom, look, butterfly. Ooh, it's just so fascinating. So I definitely felt him with me today. In Stockton, Will Hereford, KCRA 3 News.